Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Well, it was announced that Harry's wife wrote a book called The Bench. She claims that this book was inspired by her husband and her son, Archie. Now, I am not the least bit surprised simply because this above article came out while she was still in the UK with Harry that she was in deals with a publisher to write a book. The timing clearly shows she was a member of the royal family at that time. So you know that they were already looking to leave and she was working on deals. We all know she has a history of plagiarism. I've done previous videos, but then of course this book showed up, The Boy on the Bench. And the book is about a boy sitting on the bench with his dad looking at other people play and wanting to join in, etc., etc. And of course, people noticed right off the bat that the photos were the same or the, you know, the, the illustrations were the same and that it was probably a little bit of more plagiarism going on. You can't blame people for thinking that with her history. So anyway, Piers Morgan came out and had a comment, of course. And he pointed out that uh, Harry's wife is preaching about a father-child relationship when she's disowned her own dad and wrecked her husband's relationship with his father. I, he's got a very good point. She made the announcement about her book not long after Kate Middleton's announcement about the Hold Still book, the one she did about the pandemic, was coming out. The Hold Still book is being released on May 7th, and it was a COVID-19 pandemic project that she came up with, and it's going to be like a tabletop book. Any proceeds from the book are going to charities, 50% going towards helping the National Portrait Gal Gallery, and the other 50% towards mental health um, initiatives. Kate will make no money from this book. Now, the same thing cannot be said about this book, because as you can see above, when they were asked, they said they would not be drawn into that topic today. So I doubt that uh, any of that money is going towards charity. This is probably her complete commercial venture, and she will pocket all funds. It's also being reported that Harry's wife is using this book to show people how sad Harry is at losing his military titles. One of the pictures in the book shows a redheaded soldier greeting the father and the mother's crying at the window. And the page says, looking out my love at our brilliant boy and here in the window, I'll have tears of great joy. So this is showing basically how much the army meant to Harry. And he's upset because he lost his titles. Well, that's what happens when you try to have half in and half out. Now, supposedly this book started as a poem that Harry's wife wrote for him um, when they had their first Father's Day a month after Archie was born. Three months later, she was shopping around for a book uh, deal. I, for one, will not be purchasing this book. Uh, even if I had a child, a young child, I would not purchase this book. She's not an author. She's a nobody. A nobody, I might add, that's clinging to an empty title, as you can see above. For somebody who really doesn't want to be part of the royal family, she sure is clinging to it. But let me tell you what really caught my attention, and that was the above article that you see that was written by Mary Tamar Jean. In her article, she calls out the fact that Harry's wife is more privileged than white women because she has the black side to stand by on standby should she ever be called out for anything she does wrong. She makes some excellent points. Like she says in the article, imagine if a fully black woman in a position of leadership had told the lies Megan had told Oprah. And imagine if a fully black woman had done the things that Megan has done. And when a black woman is accused of even bullying, the consequences are nasty for most people. She details her struggle to get her books published because she is an actual author. She wrote that Harry's wife was not fit to be a child's writer who inspires any child, especially children of color, because she's an appropriator of black culture and struggle. She also rightfully points out that even with the best publisher in the world, the grammar in the book is horrible. I also want to throw in that the book has already been uh, critiqued by a journalist who does not work for the publisher, so they're not concerned about sales. As you can tell from reading above, it's not going to do well, but since Harry's wife's celebrity friends are all going to give it a plug, you know, let's see what happens. 
One other little tidbit, the author of the original book came on Twitter and stated that the Duchess's new book doesn't appear to be plagiarized. I have to agree with what Royal Terrier said on Twitter. The fact that the author is referring to Harry's wife as the Duchess says just about everything you need to know. You guys, I have to tell you more and more, I love the news uh, people from Australia. I mean, I just love them. They just say it like it is. Let me show you. Watch this. Uh, no, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. But um, I want the whole book. Wish. Can we get the whole book, I think the please? show's here on June the 8th, so we'll have to wait till then. Um, and there's also going to be an audio oh, book no. as well, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Can you imagine anything better? I mean, pop it on in the car. Okay, you two home, and you're cooking yeah. dinner. Megan's dulcet tones. Maybe when you're on a long drive. Reading poetry. I think that pretty much sums up how we all feel. On another note, it recently came out that Bill and Melinda Gates are going to end their marriage. Um, that could be dangerous for Harry. I mean, after all, she's about the money. She's about the fame. We all know this. She is scrounging and struggling for cash, and Bill Gates is worth $110 billion. Look out, Harry. It's now Finn update time. As you can see from the above picture, we had a thunderstorm, and he was not happy. But he was on the couch, so I wrapped him up in the blanket, and that's exactly where he stayed. So we have now established he hates thunder. So what do you guys think about Harry's wife writing a children's book? You plan on buying it? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, have a great day.